Hi guys, how you guys doing? So this is a very quick word that I have. I'm giving you guys the quick words before I get into the longer words. I'm gonna have to wait until I have a decent amount of time to really sit down and get through the longer words for you guys. But this is actually a quick word for a group of God's people, okay? Those who have been stagnant, those who have been fighting the spirit of oppression, those who have been feeling sick, those who have been having nightmares, those who are just tired of the warfare. The Lord showed me, here's, here's a specific sign that you know this word is for you. Wow. Jesus, thank you, Lord. The Lord mentioned that there was someone that was battling the spirit of suicide. You're no longer battling it anymore. You're no longer fighting that spirit anymore. But you felt like you're not that kind of person and nor do you would you ever like think about doing stuff like that. However, the warfare for you has gotten so intense to the point where these thoughts were coming in your mind and you knew that it was not you. You knew that there was some type of manipulation going on behind the scenes. You knew that somebody was tampering with your spirit through black magic or witchcraft. And this has caused you to have these thoughts. And you're like, where are these thoughts coming from? Because normally and naturally, I'm not that kind of person. I am a strong person. That's not even something that comes across my mind. Where are these thoughts coming from? And you would denounce, rebuke it, etc. It got to the point where you were crying and like, God, I'm tired. God, I'm so tired because I don't even know where these thoughts are coming from. That was a test. That was a test through your trials and tribulations. And the reason for this was because, yes, yeah, somebody was tampering with you. But you know why they were tampering with you? Because you are very close. Very, very, very close to receiving what God has for you. The Lord said, congratulations. You are about to be booked and busy. So the whole time that you were struggling and fighting the warfare, the whole time you're like, God, what's going on? I'm drained. I don't have the energy to even eat. I don't even have the energy to use the bathroom. I don't have the energy to do anything. And somebody was hindering with your energy. The whole time you were crying saying, God, I'm tired. God, where are these thoughts coming from? Thank you, Holy Spirit. You went through something similar to Job. A lot of us did, but particularly... God has been showing you Job recently. So not only have you been having these suicidal thoughts because of the enemy and because of what was being implemented on you, the spirit that was being sent to you from particular people, but the Lord led you to Job recently. So whoever, I'm giving you specifics. So yes, there's a group of people who's going to experience this, but this particular person needs to hear this because although the group of people know who they are because God has already revealed to them their season is coming their breakthrough is coming this particular person needs to hear this word because this particular person was feeling like giving up even though they're not going to let the spirit of suicide take them even though they're stronger than that they just felt tired and weary as if that they don't know what else to do they were just going to just say, you know what? I'm going to just sit here and wither away. They were having these types of thoughts that Job had. Remember how Job was like, God, I'm going to just sit here and wither away. <laughs> like, you know, it's like that's the kind of thoughts they were having. Remember, Job went through so much, but Job not one time allowed the spirit of suicide to take him over. Even though he always talked about not wanting to be here. Even though he always talked about God just take me. Even though he said these words out his mouth. He never said he's going to do it himself. He never allowed that spirit to tempt him into doing it himself. He fought against it. Instead he asked God to do it. Do you see, do you see the difference? Right? So the point of me saying this is that is how much you suffered. That is how much you suffered. Everybody else watching this that, that knows their season is coming, knows their breakthrough is coming, they already know. So they're like, confirmation, confirmation, confirmation. God already showed me this. Da -da 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 -da. They already know. Y'all already know. But again, this particular person, they're going through so much, they don't even feel anything indicating that there's a breakthrough. Remember, Job went through so much, he didn't even see 
the light of, at the end of the tunnel. It was there, but he couldn't see it because he was going through so much. You know, when you go through so much, you're like, I don't know where <laughs> God is. Whoa, God is funny. Sorry, guys. You know, when you go through so much, I have something to say related to what he just showed me. He was going through so much to the point where he just lost sight of anything positive. So whoever this is for, it's like you're weary and God is show, God's letting you know right now and showing you that it's coming. The reason why I laugh just now is because God just showed me in the spirit that you are so protected and you don't feel like you're protected, but you are. The Lord actually showed me just now a specific angel that is assigned to you. That while you were going through this, there is an angel that he assigned to you. You're the second person today that God has revealed to me that there is an angel assigned to them. I spoke to someone today and he revealed it to me. And he also revealed to me the sickness they were battling. And I revealed it to them and they couldn't believe that I knew. But I was trying to show them like, listen, you're good. And I'm trying to tell you, you're good. You're good. The Lord said, congratulations. You are going to be booked and busy. You're going to go from feeling weak like Job feeling sick feeling like nothing's coming in remember when job remember when sorry remember when god started speaking th to job and as soon as god finished speaking to job and putting job in his place the lord started pouring on job you are going to go through an overnight transition overnight progression to where when you wake up that morning you're going to feel so amazing you're going to feel the afflictions are gone your phone's going to be ringing off the hook. Then email's going to be coming in. I don't know who this specifically is for. Like this portion right here. But. Because a lot of people are going to ex experience this. But this particular portion here. The Lord is showing you that for you. It's going to be an overnight transition. Where you go from feeling one thing. To your life changing overnight. Everybody else. They're walking towards it. And they're seeing the progression along the way right your situation is like job where it just changes overnight so yes there's gonna be a group of people resonating with this a lot as in like they're watching their progress along the journey but your situation it's overnight success you're gonna be so booked and busy it's like wow you're gonna be in high demand so I want to say congratulations to those who resonate with this word and congratulate to the specific person. You had to go through one of the hardest tests. Job is one of the hardest tests in the book. It is. It is. And you had to go through that. And let me tell you something. The rewards are going to be greater than what you had to go through. It's going to be all worth it. And for everybody else who know their breakthroughs coming, this is also a confirmation for you. Prepare to be booked and busy. Enjoy the resting that you've been enjoying now. Or you may not have even been enjoying it because you may have been like, God, what's coming? What's coming? Like, what's going on? I want to do more, God. Like, you see things transitioning and changing, but you're like, God, I want more. I want more. I want more. Oh, oh, you're going to be tired with the amount of work you're going to be doing, the amount of bookings and how busy you're going to be, but you're going to be blessed. So enjoy the little bit of rest you're going to have because things are going to change. And the Lord showed me that a lot of this is going to take place for some of you guys in July and some of you guys in August. Congratulations. You're going to be booked and busy. I love you guys. Bye.